Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about semiconductors. So friends, let's get started. Semiconductors are a material whose ability to exhibit electrical conductivity lies between conductors and insulators. And we are already aware of the fact conductors basically possess good electrical conductivity. As against insulators are those materials whose electrical conductivity is poor. Semiconductors are further divided into two types. First one intrinsic semiconductor and second one extrinsic semiconductor. Let's now discuss about intrinsic semiconductor. Intrinsic semiconductor means they are in their purest form by nature of their existence. Common semiconductors used are silicon and germanium and they have four valence electrons orbiting in their valence shell. So friends, we know that the atom needs total of 8 electrons in its outer shell to become stable. Let's see how a silicon atom acquires additional 4 electrons to become stable. All silicon atoms have already 4 electrons and requires additional 4 electrons to become stable, which it shares with its neighboring atom so that every silicon atom has 8 electrons in its valence shell. All these atoms set up a bond with each other, which is called a covalent bond. However, these bonds are very strong and the electron fails to break bond. At room temperature, these electrons bound closely with each other. But once some external heat is provided, these electrons gain sufficient energy and leave their position. Let's now look at the energy band diagram of intrinsic semiconductor. In this energy band diagram, the electrons are present in valence band. But once some external heat is provided, these electrons get free and moves to conduction band, thereby causing conductivity to increase and resistance of semiconductor to decrease. Basically, this band gap is nothing but the particular energy which is required to get the electron free. With further increase in temperature, more electrons from valence band moves to conduction band. This is how intrinsic semiconductor conducts. Let's now discuss about extrinsic semiconductors. These are basically impure form of semiconductors formed by adding either pentavalent or trivalent impurity to a pure semiconductor atom. Extrinsic semiconductors are basically of two types. The first one is n-type extrinsic semiconductor and the second one is p-type extrinsic semiconductor. Let's now discuss about n-type extrinsic semiconductors. n-type extrinsic semiconductors are formed when pentavalent impurities are doped to a pure silicon structure. We have a phosphorus atom added to a silicon structure. As we know, group 5 elements contain 5 electrons in its valence shell. So the four electrons of phosphorus atom forms four covalent bonds with its neighboring silicon atom. But still a free electron is left which is unbounded and is responsible for conduction. And as in case of intrinsic semiconductors, when some external heat is provided, electron breaks the covalent bond and leaves its position vacant, thereby creating a hole. This somewhat increases the conducting level of sem semiconductor more in case of extrinsic semiconductors. These are also known as donor impurities because of extra presence of electrons. Let's look at energy band diagram of n-type extrinsic semiconductors. Here the donor energy in energy band diagram shows the energy level of free electrons present in the crystal. These electrons have sufficient energy even at room temperature in order to reach the conduction band and thereby decreasing the resistance and increasing conductivity. Now a question arises, why n-type extrinsic semiconductors are called so? The reason behind this is that n-type semiconductors contains extra negatively charged electrons. This is the reason why electrons act as majority charge carriers and holds a minority charge carriers in n-type extrinsic semiconductor. Let's now have a look at how p-type extrinsic semiconductors are formed. P-type semiconductors are formed when trivalent impurity is added to a pure silicon crystal. Here we have added boron. 
As we know, group 3 elements have 3 electrons in its valence shell. So the 3 electrons present in valence shell of boron forms 3 covalent bonds with silicon atom. But still, a vacancy of hole is created due to the absence of 4th valence electron in boron atom. When some external heat is provided, then the bounded electron gains sufficient energy and tries to fill vacant position. In this way, the movement of electrons generates conduction in p-type extrinsic semiconductor. You will get a better idea about the same process by seeing energy band diagram. Here, the acceptor energy level shows the presence of extra hole in, in the structure. Okay? So, when external heat is provided, then the electrons present in valence band moves to acceptor energy level, thereby decreasing resistance and increasing conductivity. These are also known as acceptor impurities, as it presents extra hole in structure. This is all about semiconductors. Thank you for watching. Thank you.